Joining us at ringside, matchmaker Angelo Hyder. You have had a very busy week, um, travelling the eastern seaboard with us as well. Uh, tonight's main event, great to see Chad Bennett back. Yeah, it's good to see Chad back. He uh, fought the two times world champion last fight and got cleaned up early. That happens in boxing, but uh, take my hat off to him for taking these hard opponents like this uh, Brazilian champion today. It'd be a good fight. I said to Paul earlier, not a lot of us have seen a great deal of Wellington to Jesus, but if we are led to believe and it's all true, Chad Bennett is in for a very difficult night at the office. Yeah, he wants to step up. He stepped up last fight. This bloke's no mug. And, um, you know, Chad's a bit heavier tonight, obviously. And when he gets a bit heavier, some of these blokes, you know, Chad's not known as a puncher, but I'm sure tonight you're going to see a bit more power up there at uh, at junior middleweight. And uh, and Wills, he's always so up there. So uh, you'll see some, some, some bit more heavy-handed work there tonight. Let's talk about our semi-main event of the evening. And, and well-matched contests are just so crucial in Australian boxing. We've been seeing that more so of late. Matt Pawley and Mick Shaw, um, two very, very evenly matched young men. Yeah, two ripper blokes, two, yeah. two real, Aussie, real Aussie battlers, yeah. you know, the spirit of the sport, two real Aussies, and um, let's hope his uh, head holds together because he's uh, been known to cut up the, uh, Matty Pawley, the yeah. smell of a boxing glove, and uh, he's just a real exciting fighter, and Shawry, two blokes that just come and want to win and, and love the sport of boxing, you know, not going to be world champs they love the sport of boxing and they don't go backwards it's going to be a good fight what about wednesday night john habawati and bob mirovic you've spent a lot of time with bob over the years are you surprised in how it unfolded yeah i must admit i sat there in the stand and i, I said to myself I, there's just no possible way that i, I could think that hopper could beat bob I, I i knew he's a look any big heavyweight lets him go can can hurt him yep. he, he obviously hurt bob but I thought, there's no way Bob Mirovic should lose this fight. I was very, very surprised that he lost that fight. What about great news for Victor Chinian? Um, a huge matchup and a reasonable payday coming up as well. Well, yes, and um, he's gone up two-time world champion. Yep. It, it really hurts you here where you can't get a crowd for a kid like Vic. Yeah. He's got power, aggression. It's been 30 years since flyweights or super flyweights have main evented TV in America. He's main event in Showtime. HBO want him. It's just a massive, massive thing. It's really good to see that, you know, the MGN Grand, the owner's an, an Arminian. Yeah. He wants Victor Chinian there. Absolutely. Everything's going right for him. Jonathan Brown, the captain of the Lions, he, he texted me, he said, mate, I've seen the news. I'm going to be in LA. I'm booking tickets. Can you get Happy me days. in? I said, Brownie, you're there, mate. We've seen it in Australia, a few more of these, what we term, super fights. It's certainly happening in the US. Is the world of boxing now starting to look at the world of mixed martial arts and the popularity of the UFC and saying, we've got serious competition here and we're getting beaten. We need to do something about this. It seems a more united boxing front, for lack of better terms. Yeah, for sure. And Gary Shaw, who owns the opposition to UFC, what, what's it called? Uh, Elite XC. Elite XC with Kimbo. You know, it's, it's it's 40 million people watch that on CBN or CBSN, free to air. And um, he says, he says, there is no, there are no easy fights. Yeah. He said, I'm signing blokes up now. They're fighting each other. The winner goes on. They're fighting the next bloke. The winner goes on. There, There is no more easy ride in boxing because what you just said, Angie, Andy, UFC and no rules is, is coming hard. You're matchmaking, you're promoting tonight. The lovely Leanne, your wife, is doing the majority of your work. They will we'll put it bluntly. Go and enjoy the night. It should be a cracker. Yeah, it'll be a great night, mate.